As the Alaska marijuana industry slowly takes shape, the Fairbanks North Star Borough is following course, staking its claim as the local control entity to tax and regulate that industry. While local licensing requirements are forthcoming, zoning and retail tax issues are at the forefront this week. Jamie Schwartzwald reports. I actually am here to ask for a larger buffer, and I know other people who are very concerned about that too. But Mary Lee Bates testified during a public hearing on a proposed marijuana industry zoning ordinance before the Borough Planning Commission Tuesday night. She advocated for larger buffers designed to keep marijuana businesses away from sensitive receptors like schools, youth centers, and swimming pools. The zoning measure would cover four types of pot businesses, cultivation, manufacturing, testing, and retail. Those facilities would be considered as permitted use in heavy industrial districts of the borough. Small and large cultivation facilities would be permitted in rural agriculture and farm zones, as well as in general use and industrial zones. However, residential zones would be off limits to all pot businesses. No one would even know it was there. In fact, we've got hundreds of them in, in the interior right now, and nobody knows that they're there. The assembly will hear the zoning ordinance later this fall. The body will convene a special meeting Thursday night to discuss an ordinance to place a ballot question before borough voters of the October 6th municipal election, asking whether the borough should levy a 5% tax on retail sales of marijuana and marijuana products. Assemblyman Van Lawrence co-sponsored the ordinance. The intent, really, from my perspective, and from the sponsor's perspective, is to uh, try to increase alternative revenues as, so as to allow the property taxes to be reduced. Assembly members Diane Hutchison and Guy Santley have proposed a substitute to change the levy from 5 to 8 percent. Hutchison fears that at 5 percent, the borough would not collect any revenue from retail outlets within Fairbanks city limits. A 5 percent marijuana sales tax question will be placed before city voters in October. State statute says any sales tax collected by the borough from businesses within Fairbanks limits must be remitted back to the city. That if you don't have a tax that's greater than what you have to turn around and remit to the city is basically you're asking the property taxpayers in the borough to subsidize um, the industry that, that retail may just exist in the city. 